by the end of this video people will think that you are cheating in every exam because of what i will tell you right now imagine moving from the worst student in the class to the best student in the class in just one year this was me of how i went from failing medical school to becoming a distinction student in this video i'm going to show you how you too can become a distinction student by practicing simple study habits let's get into this video in my last video i talked about my entire medical school journey how i went from failing medical school to being a student who gets distinction in this video we're going to talk about how you can study if you've not watched that last video simply click here to watch it right now or you can simply subscribe, share this video so we can expand our family of excellent doctors. Who are you? If you click to watch this video, you may be in either one of these three categories. One, a confused and depressed medical student who had just failed a medical exam. Two, an average medical student who wants to start topping his or her class. Three, a distinction medical student who wants to learn more about getting more distinctions in medical school. No matter who you are, this video is for you because at the end of this video, you'll be equipped to be that student who gets distinctions consistently. This video is going to be divided into three parts. Get to study, what to study, and how to study. These three things are essential to becoming a distinction student. Let's get into it. Where to study. Here are three different places that I think are a great place to study. Number one, at home. It's a really great place to study because you have the silence, the serenity, and the family to support you while studying. This is different for people that have a large family size, with lots of children and kids that disturb you and prevent you from studying. If you do, a good place to study now is the library. The library is a very great place to study because there's silence and you have all the books that you need to study for your exams. Three is in class. If you're a student that doesn't really like the library or your school may not have a proper functioning library, you can always study in class. Class is a very good place to study because you have friends that can ask questions, your classmates are there. The environment is just cool because a lot of other students are also studying in class so you can study in class. What to study? One is your class syllables. Number two is your retrospective revision timetable. Number three is very important and it is my own personalized study board this involves you reading lecturer by lecturer instead of just topics by topics i'm going to show you how let's start with your class syllables in medical school we have a large syllables like a lot of topics to study and to go through and this can be very daunting but the good news is that every medical school usually brings out their syllables at the beginning of every semester terms whatever you call it in your school maybe yours didn't come out on time you can simply get it from the upper class what do you do with your class syllables your class syllables is to help you study ahead of your teachers and also better understand how the class is and what you need to learn how do i use a class syllables to get distinctions in medical school i don't just get my syllables and start reading 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 no i get my syllables and at the same time i get all the lecturers that are going to be teaching me for that study year it's time to create my retrospective revision timetable this is my retrospective revision timetable you can see it looks very easy and very very simple what did i do with this i arranged all my lecturers right down in the spreadsheet and i wrote all the topics by the side each lecturer has a separate spreadsheet you can see you must be wondering what are these different colors here it has yellow and has green you can see yellow and you can see red now what does this mean it means that when i get my syllables i arrange all my topics lecturer by lecturer then i put all topics in a spreadsheet instead of saying i'm going to study on tuesday by 3 p.m no i open my spreadsheet and i look at my spreadsheet i start from the first lecturer and i read every topic in that lecturer's syllables and Every time I study, I will write the dates that I studied that topic. I studied on the 15th. I will write 15th, um, 7th, 2022. This was in my 500 level. And it's tagged yellow because when I studied it, it was very easy. I understood the topic, but not perfectly well. So it was yellow. It's tagged red when I didn't really understand the topic and I couldn't answer any questions on that topic. It can be tagged green 
it started growing when when i first read the topic i really understood it like an answer any questions on that topic don't worry in the last session of how to study you really understand how this works it works by a principle called space repetition and don't worry i'm going to tell you all about it the last in this session is your study board this is a secret that nobody and i mean nobody is doing this is the first time you're going to be hearing this on youtube this was discovered by me and inspired from atomic habits let me tell you about it a young boy who had just gotten a job in a new company this was a sales company so he had to make a certain amount of sales every single day nobody really took him seriously because you know he's new and everybody doesn't like new kids this young man took it upon himself to be the best and how did he do that he simply bought two jars and filled one jar with 100 pieces of office pins and the second jar was empty and every day he would pour one pin into the next jar and one pin into the next jar for each sales call that he made he made sure he made at least 100 sales calls each day every pin in this jar moves to the next jar and i was like wow and by doing this alone by making 100 sales calls each day he became not just the top earner in the company but got employed by a bigger company and bigger company and bigger company from just one simple habit crazy right so what did i do <laughs> your girl was smart when you're not the best in the club it's not because you're not the best you're just the most creative and you've not really tapped into your creative side i had this little magnet used to play go-go in china two colors i had white magnet and i had black magnet so i took all my lecturers names and wrote it on my board every lecturer was tagged black that means i have not studied the topic i know anything about the topic Though the board was all white tag so there were about 50 plus lecturers for every lecturer i had read all his topics in my retrospective revision timetable i would change their tags from black to white once i'm done turning my entire board white and turning the below black i would start all over again i could have a virtual picture of what i was doing right and what i was doing wrong when i wasn't studying i would see that my entire board is black when i was studying i would see that my word is gradually turning white it was very good and very mentally stimulating to make me want to study so the game i was playing with myself and now i'm passing on that game to you finally let's go into why you came into this video and that is how to study we talked about where to study what to study and now how to study how to study is simple and i call it sit sit down doctors s stands for space repetition i for interleaving and t for testing and trust me your girl tried every single one of them space repetition simply is giving yourself time to forget and to relearn what you've studied our brain has something called the forgetting call and when you read a new topic sometimes your brain has to forget that topic so that you can allow new information to get in so you have your short-term memory and you have your long-term memory so when you read something new that topic may go into your short-term memory and if that content is not solidified it will disappear over time but speech repetition helps to move that information from your short-term memory to your long-term memory i read a topic on the 15th just read the topic and i didn't understand it you can see it is red but i read the topic again on the 19th and i had a better understanding of the topic space repetition involves giving yourself time to forget try to see if you can remember the topic again if you can that means you have some good knowledge of it if you can't you reread the topic again and you have a better understanding and you may never forget that topic again interleaving the way to shuffle what you study most times when we study we study in blocks okay i want to finish my anatomy okay i want to finish physiology okay i want to finish biochemistry no interleaving says when you want to study anatomy while studying anatomy in between studying anatomy study physiology in between studying physiology study biochemistry medicine is not built separately medicine is built together because when you see a patient you are seeing that patient the anatomy of that patient the physiology of that patient the biochemistry of that patient so that patient is not divided into anatomy physiology and biochemistry no that patient is all in one here is how i do it so when i want to study i will study for maybe an hour of anatomy then in between i will study my physiology for maybe 30 minutes it must not be the entire physiology just bring out a topic in physiology and just study that for 30 minutes and at the end i will study anatomy again 
right? So I sandwich just two. It's just important to shuffle your topics and study them together, not separately. This is where the secret is, testing. Test yourself. Most people see an exam for the first time in the exam hall. <laughs> I pity you. But don't worry. It is no longer your portion because you have seen me. You are not going to see an exam for the first time in the exam hall. Come. By the end of this video, people will think that you are cheating in every exam because of what I will tell you right now. Gather all the study materials in your house. All the past questions, MCQ and long essay. Gather all of them and now this is where we get to the sweet part. I get myself a notebook and I start answering the questions properly. I don't answer them from my head. I answer them from my notes, from what the lecturer has said in class. I answer them word for word of how I will answer it in an exam. So let's say the topic is cardiovascular system in medicine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get past questions from cardiovascular system and I'm going to answer them. So let's say um, the question is how to manage hypertension in a pregnant woman. I'm going to get my notes and I'm going to answer this question the way I will answer it in an exam. If I do not know how, I will go and ask my lecturers, sir, please, I'm a little bit confused about this question. Please, how do I answer it? Now, because it is not exam time, it is long before exam, lecturer will not feel like you are doing anything. They will even answer you and give you jara. So why not do this? You'll be surprised <laughs> that when you go to exam, it's going to be that exact question that will come out. This way, you're actually priming your lecturers. Oh, wow, this question has been a long time I answered it. And because they saw it from you, they will ask it in exam. And guess what? You came prepared because you have not just answered that question in your room. When you sit in an exam, it is not the first time you are seeing that question. You answer it exactly the way you wrote it at home. Try and answer your questions at home. When you answer past papers at home, when you come to the exam, you are able to answer them excellently well. Every distinction student did not see their questions for the first time in the exam hall. So let's summarize this. Number one is have space repetitions. And the best way to use your space repetition is using your retrospective revision timetable. If you do not understand the retrospective revision timetable and the space repetition, click on this video to watch more about it. Two is interleaving. Make sure you interleave. Don't just study everything separately. Study them in groups by stacking them. Final one is testing yourself. Depending on the school that you are in, get your past papers and past questions from your seniors or whoever. There might even be apps that now have past questions on your school. What you need to do is answer those past papers. No matter how much videos you watch on YouTube consigning how to study. If you do not sit down and study, you will never know anything in medical school so my advice to you is to sit down and study god will give you the strength to study and get distinction if you never sit down to study you will never study so stop watching this video right now <laughs> okay okay i'm almost done so once you're done watching this video go and sit down and study i'm valerie curry and i see you as a doctor make sure you like this video and subscribe and if you have any questions ask me down in the comments i really love all the questions you guys asked me last time can't wait to answer all the questions you're going to ask me today so thank you so much for watching this video if you want to still learn more about how to stop wasting your life in medical school click on this video here and if you want to just see me having fun in india seeing taj mahal click on this video right here and i will see you in the next one bye